Hey everybody, thank you for joining What's New. This is our summer 2020 edition. We do this webinar once a quarter where we take everybody through all of the new product updates coming to Zendesk. And to open things up, we have John Aniano, one of our product leaders here at Zendesk, to talk through some of the trends we're seeing in the market to set the stage for what we're launching today. Thanks, Andrew, for, for having me, and thanks everyone for checking out what's new. My name is John Aniano. I am SVP of products here at Zendesk. I run a number of our, our products in the in the support space. And, you know, uh, here to talk about, you know, some trends we're seeing and what we're doing in the product that's that's exciting and hopefully helping you, our customers, address those trends. You know, we want to start by just addressing that the world is entering a new normal and businesses have had to make a lot of changes to keep up. And I think you and I are seeing a lot of trends in the market and within our, our own customer base. And I would love to just talk with you a little bit about some of these trends that we're seeing and, and what we're doing at Zendesk to address them and help our customers get ahead of, of these emerging trends. Yeah, absolutely. And I have some stats. And I, I think the first stat is how we have seen a 154 percentage increase in WhatsApp usage since just February, which I think is a, just a massive increase. Yeah, absolutely. We have been seeing a, a, a massive increase in you know social media, social messaging channel adoption in the customer service world now for years. And I think what you know what we're seeing and what has happened is with uh, with COVID and with people spending more time at home and spending more time on their mobile devices, um, you know that social messaging adoption curve is is going higher. Uh, consumers are just, you know, they're used to using social messaging channels so much to communicate with friends and family around the world that it only seems natural to communicate with businesses over that. So, um, so you know, uh, not a surprise, but an interesting number. And I, I kind of expect us to see, see that continue to grow. Well, as we see it continue to grow, I'd, I'd love to hear a little bit about how we're thinking about addressing this for, for our customers. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, I think, you know, Fortunately for for Zendesk and for our customers, <laughs> we caught this trend early, and we've been spending a lot of time thinking about what does customer service look like in a social messaging led world. How can we give our customers, the businesses, the tools to address social messages, but also really spend time uh, giving agents the tools they need to handle this sort of explosion of channels. We're, you know, customer service agents are already doing a massive amount of work handling email, phone, uh, chat, uh, various emerging public social channels. And now, you know, to add social messaging on top of that is something where we as, you know, as a customer service tool provider, we need to think about how how do we make the agent's life easier? Recently, we spent a lot of time on the agent experience. We launched the new agent workspace earlier this year. And I think uh, something we're hopefully going to show you here today is the uh, a huge update to the agent workspace where we've added uh, new social messaging capabilities, real-time uh, social messaging channel support, uh, increased social productized social, social messaging channel support in the agent workspace. Huge updates I'm very excited about um, that we're, we'll show you here today. Yeah, we, we are definitely going to be showing everybody today in a, in a couple different ways. Awesome. I, I, I am really excited. I mean, the, the, what we just launched on social messaging is, is the beginning of a new phase of, of, uh, of the agent workspace, of the agent experience, of a really serious multi-channel, omni-channel world. And, you know, we're, we, you know, we're able to get, we're you know, fortunate enough and able to give agents tools they've been asking for for a long time as they handle an explosion of channels. So... Please take a look at that, and and you know, if you're watching this and you have some feedback on how we can do it better, reach out to me, reach out to the team. We want to hear um, how you're dealing with social messaging explosion, um, how we can help you handle these this sort of new world better. So, John, the the second theme that I wanted to talk with you about that we're seeing in the market is folks struggling with collaboration. You know, we're all we're all working from home, and I think businesses have done really well uh, rolling out, you know, just seeing how much Zoom has grown and, and tools like that um, to, to help encourage collaboration amongst their employees. But I think we're still seeing that 20% that of businesses said that their biggest struggle working from home still remains uh, collaboration. So we'd just love to hear from you how we're approaching this with our products to help our customers continue to solve this, this collaboration problem. I think, you know, before... 
COVID before shelter in place, collaboration had one set of meetings and, and now it means a completely different thing. We really, you know, are spending our entire days on Zoom or some other conferencing app. We are spending our days in Slack or some other messaging uh, tool and we really feel what collaboration means and what the stakes are for collaboration in a world where we're all working from home or we're in an environment that we're not used to. And so uh, I think what's cool is that Zendesk had, had, you know, sort of led the way with our collaboration add-on and with, with something called side conversations. And so we were in a good place as we thought about how is the world changing? What are the needs around collaboration in a customer support world, in a customer experience world? And so uh, we had side conversations as a, as a basis for how do we make collaboration even easier and stronger. And so we've, you know, we've done some additional investment inside conversations. Um, we've got some really cool uh, ways that you can collaborate with different people inside of your company, whether you want to do that over email or you, whether you want to do that inside of Slack, you can do that with side conversations. We've added things like uh, creating a child ticket from a side conversation so that you can track uh, you know, an escalation process inside of your company using a ticket instead of uh, ad hoc communication. So, uh, you know, we think that, you know, as there's, you know, more Slack and more messaging, more Zoom and more video conferencing, um, having these tools natively integrated into Zendesk is is going to be critical for, for our customers and, and their collaboration needs. So, John, I, these updates are incredibly beneficial to help folks streamline internal collaboration, but as we know, today's support experience oftentimes involves folks from a variety of even different businesses in some cases where you could have a delivery driver, for instance, and an agent or a vendor. We'd love to hear what we're doing to help those sorts of uh, help during those sorts of scenarios. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, it's interesting, Andrew. I think, you know, traditionally the customer experience and the customer support world has thought a lot about interaction between the customer and the agent. And those are the two parties. Those are the two two people involved in doing customer service. And what I think we're finding more and more is that, you know, there are to deliver the best customer experiences, there there may be a lot a lot more people involved in a customer service interaction. So for instance, in food delivery, we're all using food delivery apps today in this world. And so, you know, in that interaction, there's there's often four people that could be involved. There's the food delivery app company, there's the food a buyer, there's the driver, and then there's the restaurant or the, the food preparer. And so a customer service interaction may get fairly complex. And we've uh, come up with this just amazing solution with multi-party conversations uh, that can be deployed with Sunshine Conversations. So I think we, we may have some things to show you there today on, on what's new, but, uh, but I think this world of multi-party conversations is just getting started. Um, it's not going away anytime soon. And the types of experiences you can create um, are really sort of a new generation of, of customer experiences. So really excited about bringing that to market as well. The last stat that we have is that we have seen and our customers have seen a 24% increase in support requests year over year. And I think businesses are facing higher volumes than, than ever before. I, I would love to hear a little bit about what we're doing to help businesses understand these volumes and, and remain agile. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, the stat, you know, 24% increase year over year, actually, to me, having been in this industry for a long time, I think that might even be low. <laughs> I think that, you know, if you if, if you live the life of, uh, you know, sport operations manager, or even a customer service agent today, it probably feels like a lot more than that, frankly. And I think, you know, part of that is we're dealing with, like we talked about earlier, an explosion of channels, uh, consumers expectations have just continued to go up and up and up on how how, uh, you know, what the expectations that consumers have on how quickly they can interact with the company, on what channels they can interact with the company, how quickly they need a response. So no question support volumes are rising. And I think for our customers, uh, what we hear a lot is we know we can do things to make this the system more efficient um, when volumes go up. We can make our agents' experiences better. But what we really need to understand is what are the nature of these requests how do we interact with, you know, how do, how do we understand the data? The data volumes keep going up. How do we understand the data? You know, we're doing some, we're doing some uh, major updates to how you can get and interact with data and explore particularly um, around something called live team dashboards, which I'm excited to talk about. 
Yeah, the live team dashboards are are really interesting. You know, I, I took a look at them and, and saw them the other day. Do you want to talk a little bit more about that? And then I know we've also been working on some admin capabilities with sandboxes and these new staff profiles. I'd love to hear just sort of how all of these things sort of tie together for our customers. Yeah, absolutely. So I'll, I'll try to uh, be brief and hit those three things. I think with Explore Live Team dashboards, um, you know, in this world where we're all remote, um, what our customers have been asking for and what support managers have been looking for is a live view of con- you know current customer support operations. How many tickets are currently open? How is average handle time trending? How many chats are in queue? All the types of things you might want to know live at a point in time um, are, are, are things that you know our customers are demanding from us. So we're launching live team dashboards, which allows you to build dashboards, which include the live data that you need right away and you can put that up on a big screen in your home you can put that up on your if you have a second desktop monitor or something um and and be able to watch uh, support operations in real time so really excited about that i think additionally once you once our customers have the insight they need from explore or from dashboards or from reporting um the next step might be making some changes in your zendesk implementation and we've had you know uh sandboxes live and available to customers for a long time here at Zendesk, but we made a massive investment in sandboxes and we're releasing a brand new version um, that makes it super easy for you uh, as a Zendesk customer to in, uh, to initiate a sandbox copy, get all of your Zendesk instance information copied down into your sandbox um, very quickly without waiting. You know, we're talking about, uh, you know, uh, minutes and hours instead of uh, sometimes days in the past. So huge update to sandboxes uh, that our customers will enjoy. And then finally, you know, we uh, we get a lot of requests from our customers uh, to make the administration of Zendesk and instance easier, particularly as you scale to uh, you know thousands of agents. And so what we've done is we've begun unifying a lot of settings in something called Admin Center, which you might be familiar with. We are now releasing um, unified staff profiles in Admin Center, so you can manage users in one single place across the various, you know, whether they're a support user or a chat user, um, you have a single unified staff profile inside of Admin Center to make the administration and the ongoing updates to your to your staffing a lot easier. So hu- huge updates for, for understanding your operations and managing your Zendesk instance all around. John, thank you so much for for jumping on today. It was it was great to speak with you. Absolutely, Andrew. Great to be here. Thanks to everyone watching the What's New uh, presentation. It's exciting stuff.